I like that song. Taylor Swift is the bomb. The same. Should have a shake it off contest. Shake it off. I can shake some shit off. Because the play is gonna hate, hate, hate. No, but God, I'm singing. That is a cute song. Keep going. Keep Did you going. lose your voice? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I just can't sing. What you been? No. You been blowing porcupines, girl? Oh, raspy. Porcupine. She's raspy over there. I've been blowing that porcupine. Ooh. Hey, I'll get you some. So, what have you been been up to? Like, you've been MIA. We we know that uh, your grandmother passed, and you've been having some of the difficulties in your family. Yes. Don't move. Don't move. It's still there. You have hair in your lot, like it's hanging out of your lash. Get it. Got it. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> the two yeah, hands we're working on. <laughs> I cannot talk. Takes while she takes an extra minute. <laughs> um, just really just focusing and getting myself back together. I've been really, really busy with work. Mm -hmm. uh, working very a lot of hours, and uh, in school now for work too. So yep. have a lot of stuff juggling, and then you know get my family back on track. Right. Which is still struggling, but yeah. It'll be a while. Yeah. As long as you guys are working on it, that's what matters. Absolutely. So. Alrighty. So, uh, I know Toxie was out last night. Where were you last night? Yeah, Flitz. where were you? Me? Yeah. I was home. Why? Uh, just ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what do you guys know? <laughs> when they, they found a body <laughs> on Eastern. <laughs> well. <laughs> I, and they had a bedazzled shank in them. So immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> we thought um, of you. <laughs> but I, I, I went out to dinner, but then I was home. Yeah. I was yeah. actually in bed last night at 10 o'clock. I was too. I was too. Because nobody invited me out. That's my sad day. Yeah, where the fuck oh. were you? Because this is obviously going somewhere. <laughs> she was at the Red Rooster last I night. Out. Oh my god, we were so me, me and a friend were still gonna go last night, and I you chickened out. You should have a bunch you of You chickened people out? Then. Why? I don't know. I was just you wasn't feeling it. No, I like guess chicken out's so wrong. Yeah, you don't have to have sex when you go to the Rooster. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I really. <laughs> I really. Like, the last time I was, I was ready for sex, and I did not get sex because the rooms were all full, all okay. night. Yeah. Like I have not been, and it's been two years since I've been there. Really. Yeah, you should go. Big... It's more fun when it's a lot of people. Yeah. We need to get Cali. When Cali guys should be in town in another week or two. I'll go. Although I might be all stressed out around that time, so I don't know. I, I may need a night out. So I'm moving at the end of the month, and I'm packing right now. Yeah. I'm packing, and I'm like, I'm going through shit. I'm packing up my closet, and I'm like, shit, I haven't worn this in like a year. All right, donate, donate. I, I must have gotten rid of a quarter of my wardrobe. Wardrobe. Yeah. I need to do that. Actually, I did get rid of a lot of stuff recently because a friend of mine had a fire. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I've been. How's she I doing? Yeah. Helping with that too. So, she's doing okay now. Um, but you know. Is there anything was, else they still need? Um, I don't know. I honestly I have not talked to her this week, but uh, I know she was still struggling a little bit with kids' clothing. But. What size kids' clothing does she need? Uh, uh, off the top of my head right now i don't remember okay. i'll have to look it up the All sizes right. were whatever my child is not <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was the like one at thing. no point was it any <laughs> possibility that we had any of it yeah i remember the it. list but it didn't i don't remember it exactly but i remember i was like i don't have anything i have nothing to donate we do have just to throw out there we have quite a few people um listed as guests oh. in chat so if you sign in for an account it's free log in that way you can come in chat with us yeah, we're pretty fucking funny. Chat, chat. Send us dick pics. Shake no, just off. kidding. You Shake can't do it. it. It'll censor us. It will censor us. You can't will send it? us dick pics. It yeah. will. You can send them to us on our Facebook pages, though. Yeah, absolutely. Talk you get them all the time. I get them all the time. I actually, um, I pull up my phone and without opening it, I think I did it to you the other night. Yeah. I said, yeah, here's all my unopened emails. And I said, let me tell you which ones are going to be a dick pic. Boom, here we go. Bam! Dick pic! Giant <laughs> penis pic, too, if I recall. Yeah, there was no yeah. slouch. Really? Yeah, single? I don't know. <laughs> single I, and in another third world country <laughs> somewhere. Oh, I do get a lot of, yeah, I get a lot of foreign dick maybe? pics. <laughs> no, they're all like... They're all Nigerian princes, and I keep sending them my mm. bank account information, and nothing <laughs> has happened it. yet. I don't understand. Mm. <laughs> no money's going in. It just seems to keep coming out. I, I don't know. That's terrible. Goddamn Nigerian princes and their, their giant promises. white penises. 
Are they really white though? I don't, I don't most think of the time, most of the time, they're like of a brown persuasion. Yeah, that's what I not, think. Not quite uh, deep South brown. I wonder if they're hairy. You know, hairy? I haven't. Out of all the dick pics, I don't think there's a lot of hairy ones. No, no. I, I, mm. I'm gonna go through now. I'm definitely gonna. I wonder if I dated a curry. guy. I dated a Lebanese guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. His did not smell like curry. It often yeah. <laughs> it often smelled like clean penis. It was, was not particularly slow. hairy. I don't I think Middle Eastern men are hairy on their chests, arms and back, but not around their genitals. I have never dated and I've dated a lot of Middle so Eastern men. So what men are is it Italian men? That are yeah, I think Italian men are generally very hairy. Because black men ch- generally are not don't tend to be very hairy. I area. think that if you relaxed all the curl going on down there, <laughs> <laughs> it might be a lot longer than we think it is. Isn't that usually the case? <laughs> I, 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 do, I don't know what to say to that. A flat <laughs> iron that shit out. I, yeah, I <laughs> well, I will. Uh, quite honestly, I mean, most men are shaved nowadays. I don't like that. Like, you like them full, like, forest of I do. Yeah, I don't want to pick like, fucking pubes out of my teeth right? after I'm done blowing You need, you. like, a little stick to, like, whack it from side to side. <laughs> a machete? Get in there with a machete? Yeah, that's it. A little machete just to get in there. Yeah, no. Mm. What can I say? I like it natural. Are Middle Eastern guys circumcised? They're usually not. Why are they? No, they're not usually yeah, no. oh, gross. circumcised. That's a kind of a Jewish thing. Overseas, that's more of a. Uh, it, it's much less common to find a circumcised individual, and when you do, they are usually of the Jewish persuasion, because that's a religious thing over there rather than a cultural thing. Americans all get circumcised for some ungodly reason. Because it's sanitary. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's actually. If you want me to blow you, you have to be circumcised. <laughs> you gotta clean that shit up a little. Look, you gotta push it back. I don't want to have to worry about have... sucking in and the foreskin going down oh, my throat. Oh, that's why you hold it at the base and you keep it peeled back. I'm like lazy. A <laughs> banana. Like a banana. Like a banana. You just peel it back. <laughs> it, 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 if you leave your uh, penis uncircumcised, if your penis is uncircumcised, your head is generally more sensitive because it hasn't been desensitized by being rubbed all over. Because you're underwear. not getting laid because no one wants to touch you. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Ivy girls know that I've had uncircumcised penis I have before. Too, once and or it's twice. uh it's nice. It yeah, gets a little extra good. reach. Really? Yeah, mm. mine That's did. A... Mine did, yeah. A little a up little in there. You know, it's like the tip of the elephant nose it's not quite prehensile but <laughs> it adds my love for elephants just <laughs> 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 oh, right i cannot that i do anymore but i can never go to a circus again without <laughs> we without should never go to the circus anyway you should i don't that actually shit. we don't that's right, why no, that's the exact reason why because we will we will go <laughs> yes because of penises we will go if it's um acrobatic only um, versus animals. We we've been to some that were more just. Oh, do you go to SeaWorld? I have been to SeaWorld. Yes. So SeaWorld. Do you go to the zoo? I have been to the zoo as well. We did a a very educational tour there with my daughter's school. A lot of these places. I mean, there's definitely two very um, huge sides of it, but the a lot of it's done for educational and research purposes as to having them there. Um, and providing education for future um, You're breeds so and animals correct. to keep going. Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, but I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, serious. Versus the the circus, it's just purely for entertainment purposes. There's no education. They are not. And they beat the elephants um, with sticks. They, Come on, let's be In real. many cases, and then they're kept in these, you know, really hot cages. And at least at places like the zoo and SeaWorld, they're like, they're temperature controlled. They try to recreate their natural habitat. And in the zoo, you know, the parking lot over at Smith's on a little bit of hay that they threw out is not their natural habitat. So, <laughs> you know, I just like I have a hard time staying on board with that one. Kane oh. Jones says he's uncircumcised and he gets plenty. Who did? Does he? Kane Jones. New listener, I think. Kane, can you send us a penis picture, please? <laughs> can, 
send us a penis pic, please. We'd like to. Uh, we'd like to know for yeah. sure. Uh, just to confirm. Okay, she's Toxie, like, she's, she's got to go and go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead if you'd like. Send it to Toxie at SinCityBounty.com. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, my mine's a page now rather than a profile, so it's a little bit more difficult, I think. Hey, we have uh, we have sweet cheeks in here. How you doing, baby? Hey, hey. Sweet she's. I have to tell you a little while ago. Funny little <laughs> story. I get a text from Sweet Cheeks before the show is even on, and she's like, "I can't get you guys. Are you on tonight?" And I responded, and I said, "No, we're not on yet." And she realized, I guess she's on a time difference because she's um out of town. But she had a uh, she had a stoner moment. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, I'm jealous. She ate a Cracker Barrel. I just checked my Facebook status on my or my Facebook page for Sierra, and I got a new message. I was like, "Yay, new message! Maybe it's penis pics. It's not. It's from a female. I'm not going to name her name uh, because we might try to contract her to get her in here. But if you are contacting me to have me support you in your plus size modeling gig, please use proper grammar." Because uh, you support me, question mark, thanks, exclamation point is not, uh, it does not bode well for my support of you. Because if you're going to represent fat girls as a plus size model, please be intelligent enough to do it. And that was the nerd in uh, Sierra coming that, that was my grammar mm, Nazi coming out. Sweet uh, glitz looking good sitting there. She's all like half naked over here too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm waiting for the nipples to pop. <laughs> She got yeah. nice nipples. She she have yeah, like hanger hook nipples. I do. Like you can hang full hangers on there. You yeah. have you have. <laughs> you have <laughs> yes, you have. Point. Not even not even the little thin metal ones. Like we're talking like thick, you know, wool coat hangers. The thick plastic <laughs> ones you buy at Walmart. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fun. Uh, uh, I see, the rooster would be a lot of trouble. Yeah, we'd all just be sitting around topless be great i wouldn't <laughs> why not nobody that wants me. to fucking see a negative a I, I, i'm like i'm a 13 year old boy pudgy i'm a 13 year old pudgy boy up top nobody wants to see that shit some guys are like that frenchmen love tiny titties there's no frenchmen there there might be french canadian if a frenchman came up to me and started french is like my favorite i would language. save you because they're weird i don't even care <laughs> No, care. you want weird Europeans? Find a German. Those fuckers oh, are oh, weird. That's, that's different. But um, I mean, French. Like, oh, you all know I love accents. So, French is my weakness. It is. Australian. French Cajun? Does that work for you? No, no, no. We're not talking New Orleans. <laughs> no, New Orleans for French. you. French. <laughs> that's spelled N A W L I N S for those who know Nabla. New Orleans. And not right. Canadian French. Although, I mean, maybe. Maybe? Maybe Canadian French. I'll have to see if we can find some French Canadians. I'd have to hear it first. No, no Canadian. Playing Canada. We, we had this debate. I actually got a little uh, <laughs> upset and made us cut the conversation off. What? At I the missed bash. it. You did at the bash because we were asking people and by we i was not but um <laughs> it was the, the question was being posed to numerous individuals <laughs> from our friends up north as to the size of male canadian penis and that saying like we heard that they're very small and people were getting offended i mean the one woman i thought it she i almost pulled her, her husband's dick out for yeah, us yeah. like she was i saw her you know, like she was scooting by me and i'm like ma'am i'm really sorry you know we were just asking questions and she's like fine but i i just really wanted to clarify she was she really was gonna pull out his penis work it up and show us yeah I'd have been okay yeah, with that. she wasn't. <laughs> Ustream would not have enjoyed that Ustream at all. Not. And I have a feeling that security might have questioned it. <laughs> Just a little. But we'd yeah, have, they we'd, would have watched. We'd have, said, uh, we'd have said, Glitz said it was okay. And then everything right. would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. we would have worked that out. <laughs> that fucking whore. <laughs> I don't know. I had the the one security guy where um, I he was going to bring his cuffs. And handcuff and then, you. Yeah, but mm. then he said, do we have to do it on air? <laughs> that's kind like, of the well, point. That's kind of the point. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> he just wants to get you handcuffed and, ner and naughty. Dirty, I, I think bad that girl. was it. But I was, I was willing to do it on air. But uh, he wasn't. No. no. He wanted to do it elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, a, I bet he did. In a hotel room. <laughs> 
like the fortune cookie says, in bed. In bed. You add that at the end of everything. Yeah. Okay. You can. That pretty much applies, too. Your future will be bright. In bed. Hmm. Hmm. We have um, DeMarco on tonight. Yeah. Is he yeah. coming in? He is coming is in. Is he here yet? I don't know if he's here yet. I f- I'm assuming he'll t- uh, text me. I texted him early. I just got a dick pic from my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Um, Toxie. Uh, <laughs> you have my number, you know. You see that picture? <laughs> You're still waiting for yours. I am still waiting for mine. Actually, as a matter of fact, I believe Cali Guy promised me a dick pic that I never got. <laughs> M-M. He said he he likes to pretend to speak French because he knows I have you know a French thing. Oh, he's like, all I have is this, he see my wee wee wee. Yeah. <laughs> it says see see wee wee see see wee wee. I love me some small titties. See, he likes himself some tiny titties. No, he has to fucking say that. <laughs> what not. is he going to say to his his spouse of almost fifteen years? I love big gigantic jugs. What is he going to say? He could say you have a nice ass, baby. It's, <laughs> I mean, if he came up and he's like, I like big jugs and a small ass, but you're just fine. What, what is he going to say? No, he's going to go with what's going to get him laid. He's going <laughs> to he's gonna roll with it. Does that get him laid? If he goes, I like a big ass and small titties? Yeah. Not necessarily. McDonald's no. gets him laid. McDonald's, McDonald's gets him laid. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, McDonald's is at McDonald's and no karaoke. No karaoke. What? <laughs> no karaoke. Yeah, last Sunday I was uh, de karaokeed. We, although we, it wasn't supposed to be karaoke. Well, it was. We supposed went, to it be. was supposed to be. We, oh, you guys went out. I saw that. We did. We did. It was very impromptu. It and, was. Um, it was a lot of fun, but we went to go to karaoke. And they didn't have it, even though they were supposed to. It was advertised on the website. It was advertised. All the posters uh, in the place. As soon as you walk in, yeah, they didn't have it. it. Yeah. So we hung out in there, and, and it was fun. Then we went to the piano bar. Mm-hmm. And then we were singing along. Well, you're really not supposed to. You're supposed to listen to the people up there, but. It was like <laughs> cell phone karaoke at the piano bar. Everybody's like, can you play this song? I don't, I don't know the cell words phone. to Did it. you get a new phone over there? No, I've had this phone. Since the answer is yes, no, since I've had this phone since it. the beginning of July, I think. Well, yeah, that would have been, yeah, yes, because I said oh. the same to her like last week, and she said, No, I've had it. And oh. I'm like, You've only had it for like a month. Up. I mean, technically, it's been like a month and a half, yeah. So, yes, it is a new phone, yes, it's a new phone mm, comparatively. You. You're welcome. It's my, uh-huh. my 32 Bella. <laughs> Bella Artisa said she'll send us a dick pic, only hers is dark brown, 10 inches in plastic. That's fine. Send it. <laughs> it's acceptable. Oh, I need to check my email. Because, is it bendable? Let's see. Is it? Is it bendable, Bella? Is you it can get it around the curves. Product. Really whip it around one in there. One of those suction cup ones. I have one. Do you? Does it work? It does. does. the suction stay? Do you have yes. it here? I do not. And you no. can just like back up into it? Yes. Or you can do, I have, um, my room has a window seat, and it's just the right height for me to stick it on the window seat and ride the bejesus out of it. In front of the window. <laughs> Blinds <laughs> closed. Because the neighbors are walking by. <laughs> well, I'm on the second floor, and the win- bl- blinds are closed. Obviously, it's a good thing you're moving. Because yeah. Were you asked to move by the neighbors <laughs> who watch you ride your... No. Your... As a matter of fact, my room is directly opposite a single male, and I'm almost positive that he, like, sits at his window waiting for me to take a shower, because my bathroom window faces that direction and it's like a shadow show if i take a shower at night because you can't see anything but you can see the shadow you can see that here you go blonde on the left it fits by the way hey so we did get the dick pic that we were asking for i don't think first off that's a tiny little picture there uh, mr toxie but i don't think that's mr toxie's penis. that is not mr toxie's <laughs> penis that is a strap on <laughs> and it is a tiny little picture mr toxie so this Whatever. so this is the gentleman who's uncircumcised. Okay. Would you do that? Yeah. I yeah. think is I think the skin is yes. pulled back. Yeah. Maybe well, no, with them being because erect. I know if they get really erect the the skin the tightens skin up anyway. Goes away. Yeah. Did you oh. Yeah, I wanna see. I don't want to catch it on camera. 
That's not bad. It's good. I like that. It's a good size. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good size. It's not like scary anaconda flopping around size. Oh. And now I can't handle all that now. Neither can I. Do we know this person? Like, this will be very awkward if this is like my daughter's <laughs> teacher. <laughs> like, uh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Is this someone I'm going to run into in a club and be like, hey, what'd you think of my penis? <laughs> Great conversation starter. No, which one was it? Hi, my name's Bob. What'd you think of my penis? <laughs> well, which it's nice. <laughs> it, was, it was okay. I enjoyed they, it. Oh, Bella said they look like worms before the skin is is back. They look like And worms. there is a suction cup on hers. Yeah. So, I don't know. Oh, I mean, suction cup on 10 inches. Good. Okay, yeah, his, his, it was good. That was a good penis. Yeah, it was a good mm -hmm. penis. I'll give, I'll give, I'll give him that. So yes, the suction cup is very nice because you can put it places, you can back up on it, you can do some we riding. Have my lip. Yeah, yeah, it's tell good. Me, tell me more. You, and you gotta, you gotta make sure you get the right one. Uh, you can't get them too big because then they're top heavy and they flop over. <laughs> And then you can't just back up onto it because you gotta like <laughs> scoot and scoot and twist to get up in it. <laughs> he said, "Mine looks like a baby pig, if you can picture that." Aw, it's that. an adorable little baby. baby. I can. Uh, one of the chatters came. Oh. Can yeah. you can you take a picture as it looks like a baby pig? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have it's penis picture day on the curvaceous bounty of anyone setting. else. Anyone anyone want to <clears> see <throat> penis pictures? Please feel free. Toxy as any of my brothers are in chat. Do not send your penis pictures. <laughs> if any of Glitz's brothers are in here, please send your penis pictures and identify <laughs> no. yourself as Glitz's brother. <laughs> brother number one. Brother now. How many brothers do you have? Two. Three? I have two, and then I have a brother from another mother. Three. That's the, Get the brother, brother from right? another the mother yes. to send it. The one that y'all thought I should be hitting. You should Get, be hitting that. Get the brother from another mother to send one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make that happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I'm all up on that, I'm too. Let's let make that one happen. No. <sighs> oh, Bella, she <laughs> said you need to cook it until it's as dark as bacon. Oh. Oh, poor baby pig penis. Mm, bacon sounds good. Come here. Bacon. Bacon. We should bring a little grill in and make stuff while we're in here. Although that's technically against the, the rules. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Signs we're... everywhere. No food in studio. We have the rules. Never. Never. <laughs> it's cost the company As, 10 grand there already. Was, there was a gentleman in here earlier and he was talking to Sierra and he said the word fuck and I'm like, sir, watch your language. What kind of show do you think this is? <laughs> And... I believe he has listened, and so he knows exactly what kind of show this is. <laughs> I assume he had listened because he um laughed, and then yeah, yeah. He's uh he's one of those quiet but totally kinky types. I'm absolutely convinced that he's the guy that if you ever walked into a dungeon, he'd be the one just flailing the shit out of somebody and enjoying it. Like, we can go ask. He's busy. We're we're in the middle of a huge hardware software update, um, and so he's actually working off well he's on the clock because he's salary so he's always on the clock but he's in here on a non-normal yes, work salary day. position she's looking at the penis again <laughs> I, I was clicking i was clicking back hey mr toxi um how i want one of these necklaces my birthday is in two weeks where'd you get that he lane bryant and he just really? ordered me two more for my birthday really when's yeah. your birthday october no mine's before yours they were just buy one um get one your, yours me. is mine's in like two weeks oh yeah, yeah. The 21st. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, I'm going big this year because I have to make up for last year. What happened last year? I was in the hospital she last hospital. year. Oh, that's right. We passed around a cardboard cutout of you at Juanita's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I am going to actually celebrate it on the 27th at Juanita's at the Red Label. Nice. Make it drunk. Y'all ready for that? Hmm. Mm. You're getting a so little bit 27th. drunk. A little bit yeah, drunk I might be able drunker. to do that. It's three days before moving day. <laughs> On the 7th. Hell yeah. But then I'm going to do a little buffet thing on my actual birthday. I uh, I think I accepted the, sure, I'll go eat some buffet food with you. I'm just not sure because of the time. What time is it? It's at 5. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, right now, my I have no after school care, so I have to get off no, at 2.30. No, it's on Sunday. Then... Oh, it's on Sunday? Oh, crap. I thought it was in the middle of the week. Aw. Like, and I ain't paying those buffet the, prices yeah. for like five minutes. I can't pay a buffet price and not. I can't especially, eat enough to. Especially the Wicked Spoon. It's like $35. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't do that for just an hour. Is is your friend who, you know, which friend who had the surgery? Does she go and pay that for food? She will for my birthday. Yeah. Wow, that is a friend. That is a friend. Because we had that me. conversation, but everyone yeah. else wants to go because, like, we've heard like phenomenal things. Yeah, it's supposed buffet. to be fabulous. So, and I have family in town too that weekend. So. Mm. God fucking help me. Anyway, anyway. Damn it. That's one of those things like <laughs> I need to keep a puke bag next to me. <laughs> Just to like eat, 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 puke. Eat, eat, eat. Binge and purge, baby. Binge and purge. Binge That's and it, purge. Man. <laughs> Back to those 1990s after school specials. I my college uh, days, baby. Mm. I was doing the same, so. <laughs> I never had that. I, I never... I never felt well. I don't like to uh, purge at all. Even when I'm, even when I'm super sick, like I will try really hard, and then that makes it even worse. Like if you try to keep it down without doing it, and then when it finally happens, it's worse. That's I think I couldn't ever have gotten into the purging thing. Not um, my well, Sweet cheeks can't get in chat. Um, Did anyone else have trouble as they were getting in? She the login she said is kind of messed up. Uh, well, I can't get into chat and uh, broadcast on Ustream at the same time. Okay, let me see. Oh, I don't think I... Can I if I'm live in there? Yeah, you should be able to. You should be able to log out, log back in. Should we sing for a moment? La, 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 la. Got the new Kids la, Bop la, CD. La, la, la. We talked about this last yeah. week. So... I was going to ask you about that because I read that. Like, do you not let your son listen to, like, normal music? No, we do listen to normal music. Like um, the mostly... regular artists who sing it? <laughs> well, no, because I'm not usually a fan of that kind of music. We usually in the car are listening to country music. And uh, so, but he got turned on to Kids Bop because he had a teacher. Um, they learned uh, the Kids Bop version of Dynamite. And then they performed it at their, like, school performance thing at the end of the year. And I cried buckets. <laughs> And so I went and found the Kids Bop CD with Dynamite on it. Um, I can't think of it. Is it a fast song? Yeah, it's a dance song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the Kids Bop songs are dance songs, but they're not that crazy. With Kids Bop, we used to do Kids Bop for many years. Kids Bop was kind of annoying, but we did it because they'll clean up um, lyrics that need to be cleaned up for, like, you know, a, a child's. Um, of that age her son is eight yeah so I don't really need them well first and they also try to pick songs that aren't overtly overly sexual right uh, but they, even did if they, do, are, they do clean them up yeah when they do they do clean them up and if I know the original version the kids bop version is that much creepier at that point <laughs> right. because right. It, like um they did a Bruno Mars song that is all about being sexually intercoursey with each other yeah and then uh-huh gorilla no, no uh, um I know exactly what you're talking about. Locked Out of Heaven? Yes. That song. And they turned it into a kids' pop song. And they left the line in there about how being inside of you makes me crazy or something like makes me feel like I've been locked out of heaven or whatever. And I'm like, it's like eight year olds and 10 year olds singing this. And that's kind of pervy. Well, that's now. how our parents felt when we were walking around singing like a virgin. And we had no fucking idea what we were saying. Right. But right. I, they get away with a lot more now than, than a little like a virgin and, right. you know, and some Madonna stuff from back then and a little straight up from Paula Abdul or whatever. It, it, there's a lot more actually in the lyrics Opposite that attract. Let me tell you the day my mom came home from work early and Tammy was floating in the pool with her little boom box on the side listening to NWA. Uh -oh. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police. <laughs> my mom's like, what the hell are you listening to? That's hilarious. NWA? We have, I mean, now my, my daughter listens. I prefer um, because she listens a lot to, like, online music. So a lot of, like, Spotify. I prefer her to have the radio version versus explicit. Um, and I, you know, my rule is don't choose the explicit. Hey, that's how I got um, my street cred. <laughs> she doesn't need street cred. She's, <laughs> my street <smarts. laughs> Yeah, she's 10. She's and 10. She doesn't need street cred. She's five foot five and a half at 10. Hey, that's she's got like a brick wall. She doesn't need street cred. She's, saying, she's got it. it. She is a walking I street cred. Yeah, yeah. It helps you be aware of your surroundings when you're in situations <laughs> that you should not be in. Because you remember what they said in the song. Because of what they said. <laughs> well, we, I mean, my, my big rule is... It, obviously, like, don't purposely choose the explicit. But then, if you know that it's bad, don't sing those words. Mm -hmm. So, how so, how old were you guys when you swore and your parents just stopped, like, trying to 
in my twenties. I did not curse in front of my mother until I was like 25. My mother was moving in with me and I said, mom, I said, damn in front of her once and cried. And then when she was moving in, I said, I have to let you know, I swear like a fucking sailor. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I swore in front of my parents for the first time when I was 16. We were getting ready to go on a road trip. And my dad was one of those guys who's like, we're leaving at 5 a.m. And at 6.30, he's rolling out of bed screaming at everybody because nobody's ready to go. <laughs> um, and so, like, he's trying to get us out of the house. And we're all bleary-eyed and barely packed. And, and he's, like, screaming at us. You know, we got to go. We got to go. And I turned around and I said, we'll go when I find my fucking shoes. And then I, everybody stopped and stared at me. And I, I woke up. Like, right then, I was I had just had a pot of coffee just then. And I, I said... I'm just going to go find my shoes. And my dad was like, okay. <laughs> and so <laughs> that was the first time I swore in front of him. I don't think I was actively swearing like a sailor until I came home from the army. And I was like 19, I have another 20. penis pick that was sent by a listener. And the penis pick had been sent to that listener. <laughs> That's a penis pick sent to a listener. Yes. I want to know how. See, here's the problem with penis pictures like this. See. Yeah, it's kind of yes. hairy up the shaft, too. So here's here's my problem with penis pictures of this angle. You don't actually know how big that is. Because he could have that thing really, really close to the camera. It looks oh. pretty wide, though. It does look very thick, thick at the base. So go back to the swearing thing. I was probably about 17 when I started swearing, like, continuously oh. around my mom without even... Yeah. Who is that? Now you, it's the pic that was sent. Oh, that's the so pic. I do not know the sent. person. Oh, I don't know the person. But now you can I? see it at the show. Oh yeah, see it is. It's short. It's thick but short. Don't it's a char. It's a tuna can Charlie. Tuna can. <laughs> he, he may not be able <laughs> to hit the bottom, but he can bust the sides oh, out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that actually got oh, a snort God. from me. <laughs> Y'all never heard that uh, before. No. Ah. Uh, that's crazy. That why, is fabulous. Why am I the, always the youngest person in the room and yet constantly teaching the older people shit? Why you call me old? Because uh, Sweet Cheeks is in uh, here. They said, Wait, who is oh. the oldest in the room? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It makes you the oldest now. Are you the oldest one in the room now? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. How old are you? Less than you. Ass. <laughs> 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 How do you know how old I am? Because you had a big celebration last year. Well, technically, big, I didn't. But but okay, it was a okay. big milestone Whatever. you were okay. celebrating. How old are you? I will be 35 this that year. Yes, I'm the oldest like one right now <laughs> in the room. I will be 41 in two weeks. God. We'll leave it as I'm in between. You're in between? I think I remember how I had only had two drinks when you told me how old you were. But I don't think I look 41. No. No, you do not. I'm just saying. All. And I'm not like... When oh, I Clinique, my my right. Macy's card maxed out on Clinique was well fucking worth it. I, I gotta tell you, if I did not know how old you guys were, if I just walked up to you guys and started talking to you, I would have immediately put you in my age bracket, mid thirties. Yes. That's why I can't find a fucking man because I attract all these men who are like thirty two, thirty five, and then like they're at different places than where I'm at. Well, you could totally play the younger girl looking for an older dude card at this point because you totally Maybe are. Me too. Our listeners trying to find us another penis pit. <laughs> she had a 12-inch one but she can't access it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that. Well, one. Yeah, I'm going to leave no, that. No, it was too. it was blocked. It was she she blocked the person. So we totally went over our comments for our break. Someone's vibrating their phone it might be other things no it's not me i need a new vibrator by the way a new a new uh what are they called the clitoris ones the silver bullets yes that one <gasps> i need a new one i will tell Isn't you that... sorry i'll wait till do we yeah, have to take break yeah let's take a quick break okay and then remind uh, me when we come back yeah when we come back we'll talk about uh vibrators Yay. apparently Yay. 